ngajene ne lo wala en play na ngayo himado wara man en ngay mande jara nyige na ngay nyige na nganga and what i just did was i introduced myself as Anne Paulina, and that I am a woman of the Matawara, the Fitzroy River, which is the largest registered Aboriginal cultural heritage site in Western Australia. Your question, why is the bill, um, you know, why do we have concerns as elders and traditional owners? And I think the first point in terms of we're making it very clear, we want the, the bill withdrawn. And the reason, because we do not be believe that the bill is fit for purpose. There has not been best practice followed in this process. There has been no engagement with traditional owners in a genuine spirit of goodwill and recognition of our Indigenous interest. There has been no interest or resources from government to have the dialogue and there is no sign of change. What are your main concerns with the bill? Um, I think, as I said earlier, um, I think one of the main concerns is that while we've not received any direct response from government, it appears that government is a saying that they have consulted widely over a number of years. And clearly that gives us a sign that government does not really know what genuine consultation means. So that's why we're very concerned about the process going forward. Now, as you said, you want the bill to be withdrawn. What changes would you like to see? Well, I think the most important point that we want to see is that at the moment, the minister still has the final say as to whether or not um, our sacred sites can be destroyed. So that is very, very disturbing to many Indigenous people that one person, despite all of the multiple evidence, can still have a decision to find in the interest of the state as opposed to the interest of Aboriginal people and the protection of our Aboriginal cultural heritage sites which are of world heritage value. So it's quite a concern that the minister does have the final say. Um, there's also concerns that there are not the resources to be invested in the region to allow regional decision making around our sacred sites. So it appears that the power and the authority is going to be centralised within Perth City and we're very concerned about that. Are you seeking a veto on development? Um, I, we are seeking a veto on development because clearly government have not acted responsibly or respectfully in regards to um, showing that there's suitability in terms of the decision making processes for development. The other point was native title has never meant to be a law that allowed government to ride roughshod over Aboriginal people and communities and force dangerous development that could bring harm, particularly spiritual, cultural and environmental well-being. Now, the Jukun Gorge caves were 46,000 years old, but there's a lot of other sacred sites that aren't as prominent. So what sort of sites are you seeking to protect? Um, I think this is one of the things we're talking about in a spirit of cooperation, that we need to be able to look at these sacred sites and get all of the multiple values around them in terms of really understanding how significant Aboriginal cultural heritage is to the world. I mean, we are talking about, in particularly in terms of the Jugan Gorge, 46,000 year old first form and evidence of human thought. And that must have a value globally. So from that perspective, what we're saying is that we really need to have an opportunity to sit down, particularly at a regional level, and look at the multiple forms of value before we destroy them. Um, because this is a clash of values uh, and everything must be on the table. So that's what we're arguing about, is that we're arguing that we really need to have wider dialogue with the people who can determine the true value of uh, what we're going to destroy before it is destroyed.